Bridgemaster Medical introduces one of the world's first fetal scalp blood sampling kits, which has a single-handed operation and does not use petroleum jelly or Vaseline. This animation will provide you with technical instructions on how to use the kit in order to take a successful fetal scalp blood sample. This does not replace any of your current hospital protocols. The kit should reach you in a sterile condition, however it is always best to check for any damage before use. If damaged, discard. If not, then remove the packaging. Please consult the instructions for use leaflet included. Detailed instructions can also be found on our website if necessary. Remove the drape and place the kit and the contents to where it is needed to provide a sterile working environment. The wand comes pre-loaded with a capillary tube. With the patient in a suitable position, remove the amnioscope from the pack and insert into the vagina using a suitable lubricant if required. To ensure you have a good seal against the fetal head, remove the obturator and move the L up closer to the scalp. You will notice that removing the obturator switches the light on automatically. Using a cotton swab, clean the sample area, moving any hair aside if required. Now spray ethyl chloride directly onto the fetal head to promote capillary action and to numb the scalp. Alternatively, you may use another suitable anaesthetic spray. Insert the wand through the amnioscope. When halfway to the scalp, push the purple slider forwards to extend the blade until you hear it click into position. You will note that the wand has an angled blade. This is to allow you to stab the vein and gain a more accurate incision. At this stage, quickly slide the purple slider backward to retract the blade until you hear it click. Pull back slightly and rotate the blood sampler until the capillary tube is level with the incision or flow of blood and the blood will flow into the tube. Once you are satisfied you have an adequate sample, remove the blood sampler from the amnioscope. Now remove the capillary tube from the pre-mounted position and place the wand with the rest of the pack. Place end caps on each end of the capillary tube. Remove the amnioscope from the vagina and insert the obturator, switching off the light. Clean with an antiseptic wipe and place with the kit. If you expect any delay in delivering your sample to the blood gas analyzer, gently shake or rotate the capillary tube to help avoid any clotting. After removing both end caps, insert the tube into your blood gas analyzer. In the unlikely event that the capillary tube does not immediately fit, there is a universal adapter which should fit the majority of blood gas analyzer machines. Simply fit to one end and then re-attempt to insert the tube. The FSBS kit is designed to allow the collection of multiple samples. Simply follow the same instructions as before using a new capillary tube to collect another sample. When you have completed the FSBS procedure, the entire kit, including the tray and Ella, can be disposed of in accordance with hospital protocol. Ella has been designed so that its circuit board and battery can be separated from the plastic parts and disposed of in your designated collection bins for each type of waste.